Um, we get smart and we go, if you want this sort of stuff to get out there and people to hear about it, then um, let's use some stars. That's up to anyone. Anyone know who that? I don't think prize it should be this up. Yeah, you're a winner. Well done. <laughs> Angus, no, this is much harder, I'll tell you that. Let's go for us a bit. She's a pro surfer. Um, we've got Annalise Brackensick, who's an ex model, who's now a sort of a sustainability kind of person. Let's make it harder to go around Australia and write receptors. Um, that's Rocky Elson, who used to be captain of the Wallabies, but he wanted to die in one of us, and no one actually knows who he is. Let's make it that way. There's Yumi Steins, who's a media personality. Um, so, what we do is we go and get all these people because you realise these ambassadors will help you tap to different markets. There's a the surf culture, there's sports culture, there's fashion. Um, there's food, we've got food people, all that sort of thing, and it will get the message out of this sort of simple idea to get people talking about it. Um, what we do then is we go get our ambassadors and we go into their, their garages and say, could you tell us a little bit about it? So I'll just show you one of them. Um, and and, and the thing about here is it's, well, sorry, is it's, this is not my budget stuff, you know, this is simple stuff anyone can do with students for the hand. I'm Rocky Elson, and this is my garage. Uh, Rocks of jerseys here, I've got um, this English jersey which someone sent me. Uh, just in case I wanted it, but uh, my dad. Pretty good for it. Uh, dress up clothes. Dad wants some kind of Mexican hat or something. You know, a school helmet. Doesn't work too well, but again, a few dress ups. So that's that blue sign that I don't buy. I'll probably pay you to take that off. I'm maybe selling something that's not mine, but. Um, we go through and we look at all the stuff that people are putting up for sale as part of their garage sale. 
and we say, oh yeah, that's a pretty pimp in front of a um, <laughs> sort of Hugh Hefner looking thing, we'll put that up on Twitter and then guess what? So that makes people go, mm, I might check out that guy. So this guy's either got no taste or lots of taste, depending on who it up. Would you bought anyone? <laughs> And you can see how this stuff on Facebook, people have a smile and it slowly builds towards the event. People are going, this is going to be good. This is not your average kind of neighborhood rubbish. This is kind of interesting stuff for sale here. Um, positive feedback, really important. When we hit $2 million in sales, we can post it and we put that up on your stuff. So people go, this is going to be big now. Not only is it going to be interesting, it's going to be big. And, and you're building the hype around this thing. So it's self perpetuating. What you think, you think will be big, will be big. Um, you guys probably don't know that, but we have these really billion cities. We, we stuck out these just now on cards and said, maybe a little competition where you can win a few things, um, where you, you could put up what you think should be up for sale at the Garage Sales Round, and we ran it as a little Facebook campaign where you could put stuff. So that's the ugliest building in Sydney, so that's free to win home Adelaide if you want to. <laughs> the monorail? <laughs> you got to buy your Because, um, so the monorail people are going, that was up for sale, so there's a bit of a joke. Some guy, some guy has a stormtrooper outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, he wants a few bucks for it, I don't blame him, it's a pretty cool outfit. And um, last year this was all run at the time of the Facebook IPO, yeah, so someone got clever with that, and I think they won the price now. Facebook, 10 bucks. <laughs> um, you've got to be, a, like those first guys, you've got to be a bit renegade about this if we want people to laugh. You know? These guys go out and just do it, so we went. I was actually trying to sell my apartment at the time, so we thought, well, let's stick it up and sell it at the garage shops and see what happens. So we um, did this and then told all the media, and long and behold, we were one of the top three stories in every uh, news channel in Sydney for trying to sell an apartment at the garage shop. Everyone goes, did you sell the apartment? I said, no, but we got all the news. Like, what do you think we were trying to do here? It's like, I'm going to sell the apartment. Nobody had that much cash on them, did they? Um, when it comes to the day, you start to find interesting, fun things. Like this is, uh, this is uh, Hamish Rossi, he plays in Wolf Mother and the Vines, two big Australian bands. So we got him down to play a bash, bash of drums. Of course, um, at the official launch, I'm going to see Sydney, you can see Rocky in the background there, Rocky Olsen. So then Rocky Olsen rolls up and signs the drums. That makes no sense logically. The footballer signs the drums as opposed to the actual musician. But uh, it works. Auction off the drums, there's a bit of news footage in itself. You know, it's just these little things make it interesting. Um, and what really makes the day, though, is people, if you put out these sorts of ideas, people will interpret them in their own way. And that's when you know, when you lose control of your project, you know you're because it's their project now. You just put it out there into the world. So these guys um, just start, if you start walking out the streets and see people just deciding to play set for the public for the hell of it. Um, you get people wearing your t-shirts like a football team. And um, also nice to see the young people there. This is not the inner city for kids. This is just kids out in the suburbs having fun. Um, mayors love it. <laughs> One day a politician loves us a photo of them more than a giant pair of scissors, so we can use that to sell it to different councils. And um, this guy was massive, we were believe how big he was, but um, small. Just to, just to show you different types of people, you get the, you know, the, the cool people, the kids get involved, the oldies get involved, and you find you can actually tap every realm of society with an idea that they kind of find interesting.